Labor Chief Lim Sui Se says the national drive to raise productivity does not mean workers have to work harder and longer hours. He said the effort is about making jobs easier and smarter. The Labour chief reassures that future growth will not be at the expense of workers. Then the question is how? How can we succeed? From the Labour movement perspective, there are three how. Known for snappy acronyms like Cheaper, Better, Faster or CBF, Mr Lim has coined a new one for how Singapore should hit its productivity targets. The first how is to be CBF and the second how is to make the job, make the life of the workers more ESS. Easier, smarter and safer. In the context of Singapore, given our low unemployment, tight labour market, there's another third how, third how, beyond CBF, beyond ESS, which is to value every worker. One group singled out for more support is the elderly. The Prime Minister has called for a practical approach to allow as many as possible to work for as long as possible. Unionists say most workers want to continue working past retirement, even into their 70s, and not just because they have to, but also because they want to. The incentives are there, the bonuses are given to good performers because it's performance-based. So uh, there's no short change for re-employed workers. And they also want to live a meaningful life, they got to live an active life, uh, and also to uh, cascade down their knowledge competency to the youngsters. Cost of living and buy a household income things, uh, they have to. If their children good, very high salary, they won't work. Their children is not that level, so they need to work. Out of ten, uh, I believe seven willing to work, and two is just want to end up to be uh, relaxing at home after they are retiring. A higher salary remains top of mind for most workers. But beyond that, unionists say increasing concerns of both rank-and-file workers and PMETs alike are better work-life balance and more recognition for the work they do.